Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to be playing you 20 different licks you can use in the tune Dark Eyes. This tune started off as a Russian gypsy tune, probably back in the 19th century. The original was called Oichichoynya and it started off in 3-4 time before moving into 4-4 and gradually speeding up. But it was recorded in 1940 by Django Reinhardt and from there it's become a standard for gypsy jazz. In gypsy jazz it's played as a straightforward up-tempo number. Django recorded it under the title Les Yeux Noirs in French and so if you're searching for gypsy jazz versions a lot of the best ones are under the French title. First of all let's hear the tune. <laughs> notice is that I'm playing that in third position uh, mostly and you might ask why. If you play it in first position you have an open A and that happens quite a lot. Another open A, open D. So if we do it in third position then we can give a nice deep vibrato on that A. chords. So you've got A7 going to D minor, A7 going to B flat, G minor going to D minor and A7 going to D minor. A7 to D minor is a pretty straightforward sequence and most of the licks that we'll play over A7 will also work in D minor. The B flat you'll find is a pretty straightforward one to deal with because it mostly will match the D minor. The G minor is the one to watch because that's where there's something definitely different happening. Most of the licks that we play are going to be four bars long in order to fit this pattern. Now in order to find your way around the sequence, it's probably a good idea to start off by just playing arpeggios for the chords. When you start improvising on this tune, you'll find that the arpeggios are a good place to start. But you can't play arpeggios all the way through uh, without disguising them in some way. And one simple way to make an arpeggio into something like a lick is simply to play each note twice. So you can do... And that's using what's called chain bowing. Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. So you can do that to any one of the chords, or even several of the chords, and that will fill in there nicely as a little lick. Here's a little lick based on an arpeggio. And that will go all the way through the first four chords. Have a listen to this. Now there's a nice little lick you can do based on an arpeggio uh, for the G minor for example. For A, uh, probably easiest to start on the, uh, the C sharp. For the D minor. You can play the same lick slow down to quavers instead of triplets. scales rather than arpeggios and the scale to use for D minor is the D harmonic minor because that has the C sharp which is also in the A7 
So here's a lick which uh, is a dis uh, based on a descending step. Let's hear that over the chords. Now the jazz violinist Tim Clipus has a very nice video where he plays Dark Eyes and one of the licks that he uses is up an arpeggio and then down a chromatic scale, like this. And what he's doing with the up arpeggio is playing a diminished arpeggio, which is a substitution for A7. So he's going... Now if that sounds a bit like hard work, there are some licks which you can use which are actually really simple and let the chords do most of the work. For example... It doesn't sound like much on its own, but when you hear it with the four chords, you'll hear it, it works really quite nicely. Another really simple one based on a, a double A. So a second finger on the D string and the open A. Tim Clipus has another similar one to that where he does double stops. Again, how on the fourth time he comes round against the B flat, it really sounds quite good. It's a nice descending lick. Let's hear that against the D minor. Here's a nice one, which is a, a descending yodel kind of pattern, possibly borrowed from country fiddling. Again. Let's hear that against the chords. Here's a nice one from uh, Florin Nicolescu. Let's hear that against all the chords. You can see that uh, with a lick like that, it fits some chords better than others. Um, the more you play it, the more dangerous it becomes. But sometimes you get a real nice one, hold it on as long as possible, and uh, the audience will also start to pay attention. Here's a nice one with uh, descending parallel fifths. A parallel fifth is where you play a note, uh, and you uh, finger the upper string at the same time. You always think of the lower note as being the melody note. So, um, A grappelli lick, uh, which is a fourth finger to first finger and fourth finger to first finger. This kind of lick, uh, several of the notes are always going to be outside whatever chord you're playing. Fits best over the G minor, but let's hear it from the beginning and see how it fits against each of the chords. To me, the, the G minor is definitely the best one. Now we mentioned before the idea of using a substitution of a diminished chord for the A7. In this case you could call it B flat diminished. 
So here's a lick. Now here's a nice lick uh, in third position. It's a bluesy lick. We're using a flattened fifth. Very simple blues lick. Uh, again, using the flat and fifth. So far, we've mostly ignored the B flats, mainly because most of the licks that fit in D minor will also fit in B flat. But if you want to emphasize the B flat, something that uh, a run down to the B flat note itself is good and then you can climb up to the G minor. Now the way these chords are working, um, you can often use the same idea through the first four chords, but the G minor marks the point where you've got to change direction. So, uh, a nice one is to do some double stops, because G minor is a good one for double stops. Do that again. Let's hear that with the chords. is to follow down four notes. So for the G minor we do play in the G. For the D minor we play in the F. For the A7 we're playing an E and D. Or it could be um, a third above that. So. So basically those four notes are the notes that we're going to hang the, the lick for the last four chords on. So here's an example. So these licks obviously work great on dark eyes, but they'll also work with a little bit of modification on things like minor swing or by me bis Shane or any other minor gypsy tune. I'll play you up with three times round, uh, including some of these licks and probably a few others. Mm -hmm. 